this is lesson two for the Xcode AR Kid series. And then、uh, previously we talked about how to create a file, and then we also gave it a name. And then I actually changed the file name to AR Poker Dice. And then、uh, here we can see Apple already gave us this、uh, simple code that we can run to quickly see what this AR Kit can do. It's just they don't run on the simulator. So we have to connect to our own device, for example, iPhone or iPad, to see how it actually works out. And then, after you connect to your own device, you can change this to、uh, your own device instead of the default simulators. If you click this, and you will see the drop down drop down button, drop. Down list, and then you can choose your own device and click this、uh, run button. It just、uh, sometimes after you download the for the download X code for the very first time, you might run into a very common problem that. Uh, that still exists over this years. For some reason, for Apple is when you're、uh, almost finished building the tasks, it will show up this keychain, keychain、um, pop up and ask you for the passwords. But if you actually enter the your Mac user. Account password for your laptop or iMac or desktop. Then,、uh, if even if you enter the correct password, it still doesn't let you in. How many? It doesn't matter how many times you try. And then, some people click allow first. And that never work, and then、um, so they try always allow instead. For some people, that works.、Um, but if it still doesn't work for you, then、um, you can、uh, ask the Apple support chat, which is what I did, and then they told me to uninstall. Xcode, which is six gigabyte, and then install exact same thing again, and then for me that worked. So after I I reinstalled this, uh, uh, reinstalled the Xcode, this keychain pop up actually didn't show up at all. So, um. If you run into any problem, reinstalling is a good way to go. At least for me, it works. This.